Hey, this is Caleb with School of Motion. In this episode of the Workflow Show, we're talking keyboard shortcuts. The more After Effects shortcuts you know, the faster you'll be. And speed is key. So if you're ready to learn something new, let's take a look at 30 of my favorite keyboard shortcuts in After Effects. This tutorial will cover beginner, advanced, and ninja level keyboard shortcuts. So stick around to the end to find the really good ones. But first, let's hit the essentials. When you have a layer selected in the timeline, you can quickly call up the various transform properties by hitting various keys. Hit A for anchor point, P for position, S for scale, R for rotation, and T for opacity. And if you want to call up multiple transform properties at the same time, just hold down the shift button. Need to add a quick transform property keyframe? If you're on a Mac, hold down the Option key and hit the corresponding Transform Property hotkey. So let's say you want to take a look at all of the keyframes for a specific layer or set of layers. To quickly pull up all of your keyframes, hit the U key. Once the keyframes are up, you can space them out proportionally by holding down the Option key. Want to quickly access the hand tool? Hold down the space bar and you can quickly navigate the Comp Viewer and the Timeline. It's a handy dandy tool that can make it super easy to navigate your compositions. You can also quickly expand and contract your timeline by hitting the plus and minus key on your keyboard. No more grabbing that mountain lever. Now let's talk about the comp panel. To zoom in and out, hit the comma and the period key, or to fit the comp window to the entire screen, hit shift plus forward slash. One quick way to convert your linear keyframes into smooth easy ease keyframes is to simply select your keyframes and hit the F9 key on your keyboard. If you want to do an ease in, hit shift F9, and if you want to just ease out, hit command F9. And speaking of keyframes, if you hit the J or the K key, you can hop between your keyframes in the timeline. With the same layer selected, we can hit the I key to go to the very beginning of a layer, and the O key to hop to the end. How do you normally move forward one frame in the timeline? Do you hit the next frame button at the top of the screen? If you do, you are wasting your time. Instead, hit page up or page down to move left and right. You may already know that hitting the zero key on the number pad previews your composition. But did you know that if you hold down shift and hit the zero key, your preview will skip every other frame, essentially reducing your render times in half. So are you still with me? If this sounds like a lot of things to remember, it's really because it is. There's no shortcut to learning keyboard shortcuts. So now let's move on to some pro level keyboard shortcuts. In After Effects, you can easily see all of the properties that have been adjusted by double tapping the U key, not to be confused with the W key. Just like Premiere Pro, After Effects has the ability to set markers in the timeline. To do this, hit the asterisk button on the number pad. These markers are a great way to time out your animations to music. You can also attach dialog boxes to your keyframes by hitting Option plus the asterisk key. This way, you can set little reminders to yourself. If you've been using After Effects for any amount of time, then you know how important pre-composing can be for organization and style. But instead of selecting your layers, then navigating to Layer Precompose, just hit Command Shift C, and boom, the precompose box will magically appear. Did you know you can move your layers to your playhead? Hit the square bracket key, and your layer will move to the front of the playhead. Hit the right square bracket, and the layer will end at the playhead. You can also quickly move the playhead to the first and last frame of your work area by hitting Home or End. Let's say you have an image of a pangolin, and you want to stretch said pangolin to fit your entire composition frame. To do this, hit Command Option F and your layer will stretch to fill. You can scale the layer to match the width by hitting Option, Shift, Command, and H. Or you can fit to the height by hitting Option, Shift, Command, G. Neato speedo. A ruler is a commander, and rulers rule in After Effects, so it stands to reason that a shortcut for activating rulers would be Command-R. You see what I did there? 
Now, you can simply drag from the top or the side to create a new guide. If you want to turn your guides on and off, hit command plus semicolon. If you want to turn on guide snapping, hit command plus shift plus semicolon. You can also lock your guides by hitting command, option, shift, and semicolon. If you have a lot of effects or layers, previewing your compositions can take a lot of time. So instead of changing the render percentage by hand, make it your resolution to hit command shift J for half resolution, command option shift J for quarter, and command J for full resolution. No one could ever replace you. But if you are an After Effects layer, you could very easily be replaced. Just select the layer in the timeline, hold down the Alt key or Option key on a Mac, and drag the new layer on top of the old layer in the timeline. Voila, you've now been replaced. Now, stay with me here. We've saved our best After Effects shortcuts for the end. These are the tricks they don't teach you in school. To quickly split a layer, select a layer in the timeline, hit Command, Shift, and D, and boom, your layer's in half. You can select the layer above and below your current layer by hitting Command plus the up arrow or Command plus the down arrow. Want to see the graph editor? You can open the hood by hitting Shift plus F3. Having trouble finding that layer in the timeline? Hit Command plus F to quickly go to the search bar. You can also expand any panel to fill the entire screen by hovering your mouse and hitting the tilde key. This trick also works in Premiere Pro. Layer controls can be useful, but when you just want to see your composition, they can really get in the way. If you hit Command plus Shift plus H, all of the layer controls will disappear. Any designer worth their salt knows how important it is to manually kern your type. In After Effects, you can do this by hitting Alt plus the right or left arrow keys. Want to send a quick frame to your client? Hit Command plus Option plus S, and you will send your current frame to the render queue. Simply select your favorite image format and hit the render button. I like to save render presets to make this process even faster. Perfectly centering an anchor point is like hitting the bullseye. So unless you're a dead eye like that one daredevil villain, it's best to use Option, Command, and Home to snap your anchor point to the center of your layer. Want to see if your elements line up perfectly? Hit Command plus apostrophe to turn your grid on and off. Now, that's all of the keyboard shortcuts we have for now, but for more finger tips, check out the show notes for links to a few PDFs with all of the keyboard shortcuts mentioned in this video. Have an idea for a workflow show? Email us or send us a tweet. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.